Hey guys, in this tutorial, we're going to see how to add a new social account to Riggerpost. You go to the dashboard menu and you will see these options. Since this is my fresh account, I have not added any social account and that's why it looks like this. If I had added a few accounts, this will look a little different, which we will get to after we have added the first account. So Facebook, uh, if you want to add, we support Facebook profiles, Facebook pages, and Facebook groups. Let's say I want to add a Facebook page. It will ask you for permissions. I'm going to give it the permissions. I'm not going to change any of the permissions, although you could, but we did recommend you don't. Then you will see all your pages that you have access to, and you can add the ones you want to add. In this case, I want to add my Rico post page. So you will see your page here and as you can see now you have a button here add social accounts instead of all those names listed here and then you have a button called manage social accounts if you want to add a LinkedIn account same steps you could add a LinkedIn personal profile or a LinkedIn company page I will add a company page you need to log in once you log in, you will see all your companies that you are an administrator of. In this case, I will add the bigger post one. And it will appear here. It's the same process for every account. So once your accounts are here, you will be able to manage them from this page. We have a bunch of menu options here. If you want, to stop posting things on your particular social account just click on post and it will be post and once you're ready to resume posting come here and click on resume you will also be able to see if an account is post from here if you're managing multiple clients and you want to add their name to their social profiles you can click on edit and rename them for instance you could say something like clients name fb profile something like that that tells you that this fb profile belongs to that point it is tricky sometimes when you have 20 30 50 clients that you manage and it's not very clear from the name of the profile which client it belongs to. So that's why this renaming comes handy. Finally, if you want to remove an account because you're, you're running out of your quota of accounts that you can add in your plan, so in that case, you can delete it from here. That's about it, guys. If you have any questions, let us know. Thank you.